Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to the opening convocation for the 2021st academic year at Winthrop University. Through the centuries, convocations have been formal occasions in the academy that have brought the community together with a common purpose. Normally, we would gather together on campus to celebrate the start of a new academic year. The challenges created by the pandemic necessitate a different approach today. Today, we are gathered virtually to induct the entering class of 2020 into the Winthrop University community of learners, as well as to celebrate a new academic year. The entering class includes all students, most of whom are freshmen, but a number of whom are transfer students and will graduate in one or two years. So you may hear us referring to the entering class of 2020, but also the class of 2024. A reminder to you all that we want our freshmen to graduate in four years. In 1895, Winthrop opened its doors in Rock Hill and 300 students and 20 instructors walked through the gates of this campus for the first time and created a community dedicated to learning. Today, we meet to rededicate ourselves and this campus to that spirit of community. As we begin a new academic year, I would like to take this moment to thank the faculty, the staff, and the administration who worked tirelessly this summer to prepare for the start of the new academic year. That will likely be none other than you all coming to campus, either virtually or remote. Winthrop's faculty have redesigned their classes, staff have reconfigured classrooms, and adjusted our campus living spaces with the goal of keeping you healthy and thriving while also providing a high quality Winthrop experience that you desire and we aspire to provide to you. We know this year will be different, but we are looking forward to meeting the challenges ahead. And now I would like to introduce the distinguished individuals with us today who will bring greetings. First, from the city in which the university is proudly located, the Honorable John Geddes, Mayor of Rock Hill. Hi, I'm John Geddes, Mayor of the city of Rock Hill. And I want to take a second to welcome each of you to Rock Hill, this good town, for the beginning of your college career. We're excited to have you come to campus eventually, and we're excited to see what you'll do in this new world that's, un, uh, that's being created before us. Winthrop has a long history in Rock Hill. Rock Hill wouldn't be what it is as a city today, a city of some 75,000 people who are working to make sure that it has opportunities for all of our people without Winthrop University's guidance, leadership, and its, act, and its uh, role as an advocate for so many great things in our history. But yet we've got a lot more to do in our future, and our future is going to demand a lot of you, the young people that are coming up through college at this time, and it's my urgent hope that you'll stick around in Rock Hill and help us transform it to a community better than we ever could have imagined after you graduate. Welcome to Rock Hill, welcome to Winthrop University, and welcome to the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. Although it's gonna start out a little bit dark, although it'll start out a little bit different, just think of how much promise we have before us over the next four years, and I look forward to each of you fulfilling the promise for both yourselves individually and for us as a community. Welcome to this good town. Thank you, Mayor Geddes. We appreciate your remarks. Mr. Glenn McCall, Chair of the University Board of Trustees, will bring greetings to you now. Hello, I'm Glenn McCall, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is wonderful to welcome you to the Winthrop family. Congratulations on choosing Winthrop, and welcome to the best four years of your life. You made a great choice. We know starting college is scary, but what you will experience here at Winthrop is the most welcoming and comforting community waiting to accept you as new eagles. 
Winter will offer you so many opportunities and you will feel like you have a second place to call home. Embrace each opportunity. Although this is not your plan to begin your college experience, you should be excited. Winthrop is a wonderful place to call home for the next four years. Enjoy your college experience because Winthrop University will be an incredible place in your life. Thank you, Glenn. Our next speaker, Brandon Jackson, a business administration major and chair of the Council of Student Leaders, will bring greetings from the student body. Greetings, Eagles. I hope this video finds each of you well and excited to start your first semester here at Winthrop University. Now, I'm sure you didn't plan on beginning your Winthrop experience in the midst of a pandemic, but here you are having the courage to step outside of your comfort zone and begin this experience. My name is Brandon Jackson, and as you've heard throughout your orientation videos, I serve as your 2020-2021 Student Body President and President of the Winthrop University National Paralympic Council. Now, if you're like me when I was coming to Winthrop, I was really excited to make new friends, explore new opportunities and ideals, and most importantly, move to Rock Hill, South Carolina and away from home. About three years ago in fall 2017, I began my journey as a Winthrop Eagle. However, about three years ago, I almost ended my journey as a Winthrop Eagle as well. But I didn't, I kept going. My time at Winthrop, specifically my first semester, wasn't the most ideal. By week five, my roommate and I had already gotten into it. I lost friends that I thought would always be there for me. And my grades represented the vitamins your body needs most. A, B, C, and D, heavy on the C. By the middle of semester, we received interim grades and I knew I was on my way out of Winthrop. In fact, I began devising ways of what I was gonna do once I went unenrolled. But then my mom and I talked about it. From there, I began to pack my bags and figure out what was next for me. But oftentimes in life, it's not about the adversity that comes to you, it's about how you handle it. So with the help of support of friends and family, I found a way, I kept going. By the time my first semester concluded, I was in a somewhat better place. My winter experience had become less treacherous and the grass was greener wherever I watered it. My roommate and I, we made the best of our situation. My grades had improved and I began to surround myself with people who genuinely had my best interest at heart. From there, I found a way, I kept going. At Winthrop and in life, nothing is always going to go your way. Sometimes things don't go as planned. Sometimes nothing seems to work. And oftentimes there will be people out here working against you. But my charge to you is that you find a way that you keep going. You are on this journey for the betterment of yourself and let nothing or no one come in the way of you accomplishing your goal. When you graduate from Winthrop, know that you've received a degree from a university that taught you grit, resilience, and how to dare greatly. I'm really excited for you to start this journey. If you're excited as I was, I know you'll make the best of it. If you ever find yourself needing help navigating throughout your winter experience, please feel free to reach out to me. Once again, my name is Brandon Jackson. I have the pleasure of welcoming you to Winthrop University. Go Eagles! Thank you, Brandon. Ms. Jamie Charles, Chair of the Staff Conference, will bring greetings from the Winthrop staff. Good afternoon, Winthrop. My name is Jamie Charles, and I am currently serving as the Chair of Winthrop Staff Assembly. This month marks the start of my fourth year as a Winthrop staff member, and I can certainly say this year will be an interesting one. Right now, we find ourselves in the middle of a contentious election year, an uncertain economy, widespread social justice movements, and a global pandemic. Many faculty and staff are working from home, campus events are moving online, and students and faculty will be adjusting to virtual and hybrid models. This year will be a struggle, and as a staff member working in IT, I can assure you, it's a struggle for everyone. But I would challenge you not to let this year hold you back. Let this be an opportunity for us Eagles to show how strong and resourceful we can be. We've all heard the dozens of iterations of the saying, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. 
It might be something you saw on the wall of your high school classroom or heard in a motivational TED talk and then forgot about. But I would challenge us as a community to remember that advice and to take it to heart. With so much talk about COVID-19 and how we will carry on with our daily lives, I hope that we will see this pandemic as an opportunity to respond in a way that demonstrates our creativity and resilience as a university community. Faculty, let this be an opportunity to breathe new life into your courses or to try using a new teaching method. Teaching online or in a hybrid format is a major shift and everyone is going to experience a rocky start to the semester. But you can use this adjustment period to teach your students grace and flexibility by example. Staff, let's take this time to evaluate our processes and to open our minds to change. We have our time honored traditions and processes here at Winthrop, but COVID is forcing us to rethink how we work and how we deliver value to our community. Now is the time to propose that one day idea that you've been holding on to for months or even years. We are capable of shifting our response to this time of uncertainty from crisis management to change management. And students, many of you are Gen Z and as a 1995 baby, I am not too far removed. But you've already experienced and been through so much and come out on top, despite the criticisms of generations older than you. You are more than the TikTok and Tide Pod generation. Instead, you are the generation of social justice campaigns, political activism, and opened arm inclusion. And you're called digital natives for a reason. We need your innovative and radical ideas, especially now. You are uniquely capable of helping us transform what it means to go to college and deliver value in a digital and socially distanced world. Dr. Hines Winthrop Instagram account has a great hashtag going on right now, hashtag hindsight. Now I have two communication degrees and a public relations background, so I appreciate a clever hashtag campaign. Last week, as I was scrolling through the Winthrop IT feed, this hashtag had me thinking, what will we see when we look at Winthrop in hindsight? I hope that we can look back at 2020, not with the sadness of experiences lost, but with pride in how we stepped up to the plate and made this a year of growth and of new experiences. I have faith in the Winthrop community, faith in you to help make this year one of our proudest even though it will definitely not be easy. And with that, I welcome you back to Winthrop, and here's to a memorable fall semester. Thank you, Jamie. And finally, Dr. Adolphus Belk, Jr., Chair of the Faculty Conference and Faculty Representative to the Board of Trustees, will bring greetings from the faculty. Hello. My name is Dr. Adolphus Belk, Jr., and I'm a professor of political science and African-American studies. I am also the chair of the faculty conference and faculty representative to the Board of Trustees. So I greet you as a member of the faculty and welcome you to the Winthrop community. And my remarks focus on now. And now is the time that your campus needs you to be a leader. Not later, but right now. You are entering college during a pandemic that has become a major and serious concern for South Carolina most especially because there are communities in this state that have been devastated by COVID-19. And as other universities have brought their students back to campus, they've witnessed infections and outbreaks and people taking a cavalier attitude about the sickness and its possible consequences for the short or long term. So we really need you to be better than what we've seen from some other people in some other states at different institutions. We need you to take responsibility for yourself and in doing so, protect your classmates, your professors and your faculty and staff, as well as the broader community. So we need you right now to display leadership. Also in focusing on the now, I want you to conquer doubt and fear. Now is the time to conquer doubt and fear. When we think about the doubts, there are a lot of people that might be saying things to you that undermine your confidence or your belief in your own power. They might be saying things like, well, it's going to be too hard or you're not good enough. You don't belong there. They might even say flat out that you can't do this. 
And when those doubts set in, you begin to feel this sensation of fear. You think that despite your record of achievement, you don't belong here. You might actually start to believe some of the things that people have said about you and start to feel like some sort of trespasser or fraud despite your record of achievement, despite your accomplishments which have landed you here in the first place. You get this aching sensation that people have described as the imposter syndrome, that for some reason, despite everything that you've done, you still have this sense of doubt that you don't belong here and you have fear about being exposed as a fraud. So now is the time to find your courage. Now is the time to believe in your own power. Courage is not the absence of fear. There are courageous people who will tell you flat out that they felt fear. So courage is not about being fearless. Courage is about finding your resolve to push through your fear and take action anyway. And part of what your faculty want you to understand is that some of your greatest accomplishments are awaiting you just on the other side of your greatest fears. To do this, though, you will need some help. And one of the things that I like to suggest to people is that if we look at Team Avatar in Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang had a tremendous responsibility placed on his shoulders as a young person, but he couldn't meet those challenges alone. He needed a team. If we think about the now famous Avengers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Tony Stark couldn't do it alone. He needed a team. And as much as the Harry Potter saga focused on Harry Potter, it seems like Hermione was the real hero and she needed their help. You're going to need help. Your faculty and staff are here to help you. Your classmates will help you. You need to draw on strength from your family and friends. And with all of their support and a belief in your own power, you can persevere even in the face of great difficulty. So on behalf of the faculty, I welcome you to Winthrop University. I expect you to do great things, but I also expect you to be a leader from day one because your campus needs you. Thank you, Adolphus. I now ask Brandon to share with you Winthrop's dedication for excellence. Thank you, President Hine. The Dedication for Excellence was created in 1994 by the Student Government Association and revised in 2011 by the Council of Student Leaders. It is a document that expresses the ideals that the entire Winthrop community are committed to uphold. The Dedication for Excellence is as follows. As a member of the Winthrop community, I agree to dedicate myself to the pursuit of intellectual, cultural, personal, and social growth. To show commitment to future excellence and achievement at Winthrop University, I affirm the following. Academic integrity. I will dedicate myself to the pursuit of knowledge and truth with honesty, integrity, and accountability for my decisions and behavior. Freedom of speech. I will respect that I can exercise full range of my freedom of speech and will respect the rights of others to express themselves as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Personal responsibility. I will assume full responsibility for myself in all aspects, for my actions, thoughts, personal growth, and development. Global and cultural diversity. I will value diverse cultural perspectives as well as value all individuals for their creativity, achievements, and contributions who all bring to our community. Consideration of others. I will demonstrate a concern for the welfare and rights of others and I will respect the dignity of all people. Social responsibility. I will actively contribute to my community through service, and leave Winthrop and our world a better place for my having been here. Civic engagement. I will acknowledge that participation is vital to democracy and will be an informed citizen and voter. Environmental responsibility. I will recognize the importance of environmental stewardship and will acknowledge the ecological and aesthetic consequences of my actions for future generations. Thank you again, Brandon. Through research, we know that by far the best way of predicting success of any academic class is to look at their achievements in high school. You will find yourself here at Winthrop University challenged by your peers. You are one of the largest and best equipped for academic success classes that Winthrop has ever enrolled. You very much reflect Winthrop's tradition of excellence. We hope you are as excited to be here as we are to have you here as part of the Winthrop community. 
Today you will begin the process of mastering the academic challenges before you. While the remote delivery method of your first college courses may not have been the way you envisioned kicking off your college experience, please know that no matter the course delivery method, whether face-to-face -face in the classroom or remote via today's technological capabilities or a combination of both deliveries, your earnest desire to learn should outweigh whatever course delivery method is employed. I encourage you to pursue your education with passion, to get involved in clubs, organizations, and other opportunities when you are safely able to do so, and to challenge and extend your abilities to their limits. The years you will spend here will go by much more quickly than you possibly could imagine. This is typically the time in my remarks where I offer you advice on how you can be successful during your time here at Winthrop University. My advice looks a little different this year, as you might well imagine, I suspect, given these unchartered waters that we're all navigating. But I'd still like to offer you a few pieces of advice that reflect the times that we are currently in. First and foremost, attend every class. Whether it's in person or remote, show up because it matters. It will help you establish a relationship with your colleagues, your other students, and especially with your professors. Do your part wearing your face covering, social distancing, and practicing good hygiene so that we can keep one another healthy here on the Winthrop campus. Take extra time to get to know the faculty and staff here. That may look a little different this semester since we're encouraging virtual meetings and office hours, but it can still easily be done. One main component of the Winthrop experience that I have consistently noticed during my six months on the job here is that our faculty and staff genuinely care about you and are invested in your success. I've noticed this Winthrop spirit time and time again, as everyone has done whatever is necessary to provide you the best educational experience possible. They truly go above and beyond for all students, and I thank them for all of their efforts. They want to get to know you, and I thank them all for their efforts in that regard. And finally, here's the plan and the part that we've all been waiting for. By the powers invested in me as the interim president of Winthrop University, I hereby induct you into the Winthrop community of learners with all the rights, responsibilities, and obligations thereunto appertaining. The entire Winthrop University welcomes you, and we are all glad that you're here as part of our family. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to meeting everyone here on campus. Go Eagles!